And we're back. Still with the stupid far cloud. And we're under... Ah, uh, what am I saying? We're on floor 26? I forgot. I was just mashing A, and we didn't return to the hub. We're just doing it all in one go. So I really hope we find a uh, better weapon by floor 30. Because uh, the boss down here is a little annoying. Nice. What's the boss on floor 40 again? Is it the cat? I think it's the cat. Yeah, because of all the gunters, right? That fight annoyed me until I figured out what to do, then I'm like, oh, it's actually really easy. Yeah, we fight, I... Really forcing me to use my keys. I don't think it's possible to run out of keys, because they always drop, like, one guaranteed one. As long as you seek out the exit and unlock it first, you're usually good. At least I've never run out of keys. This run, though, it, it's it's been great for the medals I need, but it's not it has been very good for keys. You can see on my other file, I have a hundred keys. And like I, I usually just unlock doors willy nilly on that file simply because I have so many keys, I can just do it. But um, Ooh, I like this one. Hey, no, don't run. Hey, get over here. Poof. But the game just drops so many keys later on that, yeah, see there, guaranteed key. That uh, it makes up for it. Like it doesn't matter that there's so many doors to unlock. There's also so many keys. It's just, it's silly. I might get a rowdiness upgrade instead of a health one. Because we need 200. Who knows, I might get enough for both. What's the perks to doing runs? 10 floor runs instead of fly. 5. Not 5. You can't do any more than 10, though. As soon as. As soon as you reach. Or as soon as you complete the 10th uh, floor of what you would have been a boss, but you've already completed it, so you just get a normal floor instead. Anytime you do one of those, it just automatically takes you back to the hub. You don't get a choice. Which I, I don't like. I think it should just give you an... It should just be, you know, another checkpoint. It should be, would you like to return? I mean, not that it matters, because later on, like, you're not going to be grinding in old stage. The only reason to go back to old stages is for items that stop spawning later on. Like, ow. I hate these deer guys, because they just charge off screen. And by the time you know what's going on, they hit you, and it's just like, yeah, that was fair. <laughs> they, in my experience, are the most common enemy that just disappears and reappears at random. Guess it'll have to do. I guess that deer did. There was nothing in that corner, and all of a sudden there's a deer charging at me. It's just like, oh, I see. <laughs> Oh, I see. You suck, game. These fairies do it a lot, too. Oh, that skeleton just did it. <laughs> just poof as a skeleton. I just hate stuff like that in games. Like, fix your game, guys, yeah, seriously. Finish it before releasing it, please. That would be nice. I'll take that. Ah. Also, yes, I have hit myself by sucking in bullets and then being like, nah, I don't need this, so I just let it fling. But as it's circling me, it ends up hitting me anyway. It's like, oh, well, <laughs> that was pointless. What should I get with this? That usually happens when I'm being just machine gunned in an enemy full of ranged en or in a room full of ranged enemies. Would that be dyslexia? Hey, Frigitsu. I like that. What I just did there saying... Like, swapping two words. 
I mean, an enemy full of ranged rooms, that kind of thing. Does that count as dyslexia, or is that something else? Because I know I have... Well, I haven't been, like, diagnosed or anything, but I know I have, like, minor dyslexia, because sometimes I'll be reading things, and uh, I have no problem writing them out. It's just when I'm reading them, sometimes I'll mix up uh, letters. Um, usually what I do is I'll accidentally... Not when I'm reading it, but like when I'm saying it, sometimes I'll mix around uh, uh, the first letters of certain words. Oh, be something good. What should I get with this? Did we save tree trunks? We did. And I'm probably wasting quest opportunities. Maybe I should get a Thumps upgrade, because I think one of her upgrades coming up is a, a free Thumps upgrade. Which you obviously want to spend on the most expensive one. I don't think it gives you a choice, it's just the next time you shop there it'll be free. So you don't want to waste that on like 30 treasure upgrade. Oh, this isn't good. I miss Zeldron's armor. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh wow, the health. We have health for days and a free. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Great, you guys. Game is being generous. And I shall capitalize on this. <laughs> the heck was that? What should I get with this? I'm worried now. Well. Ah, that dang lighting glitch. Wish it wouldn't do that. Are you here, Death? Is that you I heard? No. Well, here's something that's making me uneasy, so I'm just leaving. <laughs> Freak you guys. I don't even remember what I was talking about. near poof experience there kind of agitated me a bit. Also, these pigs. The, the later palette swaps of those pigs are so annoying. They also aren't really palette swaps. Like, they're not just different color. I mean, they're still uh, little flesh-colored pigs. They just, um... The second level gets rid of the prison outfit, and they just—they're just naked pigs wearing a top, uh, not a top hat, a chef's hat. And then the third level has a top hat, and um, they're magicians. They're fully fledged magicians. They have uh, little tuxedos and everything, and they just fire out that spell at lightning speed, and then immediately teleport away, and they just reappear randomly. Randomly somewhere uh, on the screen. They don't appear off screen. But they like to go behind walls and stuff where you aren't. It's just like, haha, I'm over here now. Um, that could be worth it, or it could be not at all worth it knowing this game, so forget that. I don't remember the whole Hug Wolf thing. I don't remember that episode too well. I know Finn got Hug Wolf. He got Hugified. Dane is in love with Shoko. He wants to see more of her, but he doesn't want them to uh, do some BS thing where she's just brought back to life or something. Like, she's resting in peace. Hey! Okay, so apparently if you wander off screen, those guys don't blow up. I could accept those guys dying because they're not poofing, they're freaking exploding. You don't just get up from that. <laughs> what should I get with this? You're done, boy. I 
No fairy. Oh, you know who I really like? Um, Huntress Wizard. I want them to make more of her. Ooh. Hmm. I think I will spend my keys over there, actually. <laughs> Just for the money. And potential goodness in chests. That sounded wrong. Or did it sound out so right? What should I get with this? Nice. I suppose I shouldn't be making... That's not good. Food! I gotta get some of that food. Oh, the pig, it lived! Yeah, Marcy's imagination attack doesn't really well. do a whole lot. Oh, the goblin whip. Ooh, I like this one. Uh, the goblin whip. It's better than what we have, but man, is it ever annoying. You'll see once we start using it. It's also incredibly inhumane, but... Every single time. It's not even a weapon, it's just a goblin. I hated the whole goblin thing like that. That was creepy. That was creepy as all heck. The king that like spanking his subjects. <laughs> then they brought him back in season five, and it was just awkward. And I still have this dang art club. What should I get with this? I'll take that. I mean, it is the most damaging thing we found so far, so we will use it. But oh, also demon hearts. They make everything go creepy. They up your attack damage. I'm doing a roleplay today, and Dane was playing Marceline, and she took a bunch of uh, extremely strong wine from her uh, from the nitosphere. Not as strong as my dad's private stash, but I would never steal from that. Somehow I don't believe you. <laughs> Nice. Okay, I'll definitely be getting this game's soundtrack. I really like this music. It's nice and chill. Oh, no pun intended. I just I didn't even think about that. <laughs> no, Mimeo, why? Why do you forsake me, Mimeo? I hate you. Mimeo is not your friend in this game. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one. Might as well. I like this one. Ooh, I like this one. Oh my goodness, the rep rep repetition. I was gonna say rep 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 repetitivity, but that's, that's not a word. What should I get with this? Nice. I'm out of things to say. I've only goes for so long. Also, that dang hog wolf doing the appear to nowhere act. Oh, dang it. Not using up my keys on places I can just go around, game. I also really enjoy... You were not there before. I also really enjoy uh, Jake's voice acting in this. I played him. Tried him out. I just can't use anyone that isn't Marceline, because the other two flying characters are slow as heck. Um... Finn, Jake, and I hate them. I grab. I refuse to play as him. He, they, uh, you know, they can't fly with the the. Uh, Finn would be all right because I could give him the tiny wings because he has three token slots. He's the only one that has three token slots, so I could assign one of those to the tiny wings. Like for anyone else, it's like ah, I don't want to. The speed up and Zeldron's armor are just essential to me. I don't want to give either of those up for the tiny wings. 
And um, Tiny Wings makes uh, ground characters float, like Marceline here. That's a wrap. And I just don't want don't want to do that. Um. Give me some treasure floors, make this go by quicker. You know what I'm tempted to do? Play the music from the last game, because it was better. <laughs> what should I get with this? I would totally play Party in the Clouds for the entire game, but this game does not deserve Party in the Clouds. <laughs> Neither did the last game, but if it weren't for the last game's existence, we wouldn't have Party in the Clouds, so... Props were there due, I guess. <sighs> Seriously! <laughs> and I did that on my other run, I went from floor 10 to, uh... Floor 20. I didn't do any of this. This. And uh, I found one speed up, that was it. So I guess we're just getting really lucky. Like, we are set for speed-ups on this run. But on mine, it's just like, no, you're not allowed to have any. I was getting... No, I wasn't getting a decent amount. I'd be getting, like, one... Uh... Like, one every run. So I wouldn't run out, but I wouldn't have any extras. It would just be kind of like, I have what I need, and that's it. I don't have any spares. <laughs> I have to hope I find a spare on my run. Oh, wow, look at that. Just unlock that. I always unlock it first thing, you know, just in case. I mean, on my other run, it doesn't matter, because I have... I keep saying that my other run. My main file doesn't matter, because I have 100 keys, and I'm not going to blow through all of those anytime soon. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Orbit it and then say, eh, whatever, let it go. It hits you anyway. <laughs> Repetition of the sounds in this game aren't as bad when you're commentating, because I'm not really focusing on it, I'm just kind of talking. <laughs> I've had this layout so many times. Nice. Like how his voice repeats the more things you hit in one swing. That just makes it even more annoying. Hey, I just noticed the far cloud went away. I don't know what caused that. How long has it been gone? <laughs> I didn't even notice. Is that a good or a bad Might thing? As well. Hello. There's no reason going there. That one, maybe. Should I do it? Hmm. Yeah, what the heck. A pick -a -pick -me -up. Pick me up. Dang it, Marceline. <laughs> Wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth it at all. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Yeah, I guess on one hand we're finding tons of speed ups, and the other we're not really getting a lot of anything else. Like we got a few things at the start of this run, and I haven't really seen anything since then. Cyclops tears if I need them. When did Death first appear on my other run? I think I didn't see him until uh, floor 40 onwards. What should I get with this? Actually, yeah, I think I met him on floor 41. Um, the first, the first of the sewer levels. I think I poofed like three times on that one stage. 
Just because I wasn't used to all the new stuff. And oh, that's not good. Made mistakes like that. No, oh, fairy. But yeah, like I have to play with this game muted just because it gets so repetitive. I mute it, and I've been watching Milby's uh, archived streams, I'm watching him play Nino Kuni right now, which is hilarious. <laughs> I had a nerdy. Sorry for like laughing really loud at the thing there. I had a nerdy moment, um, little giggly fanboy moment. I subscribed to him, and he did his. Uh, he gave me a shout out. He was playing Batman: Arkham Origins. That was fun. That was my first actual. I usually don't do live streams mainly because I hate the chats. But um. I, I usually don't like watch the person play things. I just like to. I just like to listen to it. <laughs> I'm one of uh, what Milby calls a lurker. I'm just kind of there. I'm not chatting. I'm not even really watching. Hello, gold bars. Ooh, I like this one. But I am there. And like that. Most of the time, that is where you get the majority of your views, or the lurkers. Like, you need them. <laughs> they have their purpose. Nice. And that purpose is being my favorite StarCraft crew I mean... Sandwich! Sandwich gives you two heals. Tree Trunks is apple pie is the best healing item in the game. It fully heals your health, no matter what it's at. Might as well. That uh, royal tart there also heals a fair amount. Two hearts. Dang it. Guess it'll have to do. Bad fairy. Philosophy babies. Oh, cookie for anyone who gets that reference. Might as well. You know, I remember the pink skittle thing. I love the pink skittle thing. I don't remember who started that. Old up here. He would always just go pink skill for anyone who gets that. Or anyone who knows what I'm talking about. That kind of thing. He'd always give away his pink skills. <laughs> Ow. I always forget those things you move diagonally. Came logic. And I just sit there and take it. All right, I suppose. Hey, you. Oh, we have enough for both a rowdiness and a thump upgrade. I think that's what I'll do. Well, it quickly became very worth doing both floors in one run. Very risky, but worth it. Worth it in the end. Hey, key. Payout is actually becoming worth it. Like, right now I'm getting, on average, like 120 to 150 gold monies per floor. That sound is getting to me. <laughs> Alright, I know there was health somewhere. I'm not going into this fight without full health. Yeah, actually, that might be a problem. I a pick up, pick me up. I had more health than this when I first fought this boss. Not that hard of a boss. You just gotta be careful. Oh, Ice King! Now I'm almost as cool as you are. Ah, uh, 
You did not just say that. Too low, Simon. <laughs> I love how she says Simon. Also... Hello, Fiona and Cake. Unfortunately, we will not be able to play as them at any point, but... Those are not bunny ears, those are just, like, pillars coming out of her hat. Also, very... well-defined bust she has there, and that... tiny skirt in absolute territory, dang. I noticed that on the plushie I bought of her, too. Pretty sure Natasha Allegri did that on purpose. Just made her so sexually attractive. <laughs> She's a naughty artist. I mean, if you see the sugarless gum picture she made. I'm starting to think you guys are obsessed with me. Wow, look at his hand there. That looks uncomfortable. You deserve more respect than that, Ice King. <laughs> Thank you, Fiona. Now let's teach him some manners. <laughs> Okay, this fight. Our target is Fiona. I'm gonna beat up Cake until she gets stunned like that. And then Fiona trudges over. Beat up Fiona. I can't eat that one again. Then you run away. Fiona's a- or not Fiona. Cake is a freaking ninja in this. Ice King can be beaten up. He drops ice cream for you. He heals you. Ugh. Wow, that one. That went way faster than it did last time. No! No! Hey, it's okay. They were just ice. They weren't real. <laughs> I know. I just want them to be real so badly. Me too, Simon. Oh, me. me too. Why are you releasing all Bubblegum prisoners? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Then what are you doing down here? Yeah! Hey, I was just taking out more basement space so I could have room to build giant Fiona and Cake ice robots. Like any <laughs> normal person. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're too crazy. Huh? Wait, where's Gunter? Maybe he did whatever you're talking about. Did you ever think of that? <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. Be quiet. I like how they say wank. I always said whack. W-A-K. Whack. That's what it sounds like to me. Now we have Ice King. Hooray. Admit it. I know you want me. Power of freezing ice. The stats aren't terrible. Why, I just wanted to be loved. Sorry, I went to scratch my cheek and I slammed my thumb into the mic. I reckon you must have taken care of those nasty hugging wolves. Thank goodness. You're one hot tamale. Thank you. So I thought this would be the perfect token for someone like you. Booties. Never gonna use it. There's something. I've got a real itch to make pies, but I need a crystal apple. Um, could you find one for me? Wasn't there only one of those in the show when you ate it? Or a piece of it, anyway? I saw a crystal apple in the dungeon, but didn't think to grab it. Yeah, it's just an item that randomly spawns here or there. Oh, good. Now he's hanging out in the candy kingdom. <laughs> Her tone. I love that. Well, you did as I asked. So you deserve a little treasure. Is it just me, or, or does her voice always sound incredibly suggestive? And I don't know. It could just be my love for her, but I can jump you to. Oh, no, no more quests from her. Uh, yeah, let's get rowdiness. Rowdy, are you? Oh, drinking water is a great way to stave off late night munchies. I probably should drink more water. I don't. <laughs> My diet is mainly iced tea. They are good. <laughs> Dang it, where's me? The statistic might you. All right, there. Perhaps as important as working out is working in. 
Excellent. I can't die anyway. What I else? I don't like that thought. Kitty! The thing we just had. Jake. Exit the dungeon. Uh, I am three. It. Well, we need to spend our money on something. I'd upgrade one of the other characters, but I don't plan on oh, using any of them. You know what though? Oh, is that kind of talk is gonna bite me in the butt. I, I can just, I can just feel it. Hey, buddy, great work in there. But you look tired. Need a ball? Oh. No, yeah, no, that's fine. We. You can. I appreciate. One money's. Oh yeah, the next this did Mike. 300. <laughs> um, and then the next the next one of these is uh, 500. So they, they jump. They jump ridiculously. Hers are 125 and 400. Nepters has the biggest jump. It's 175 and 700. Bit of a jump. <laughs> Bit of a jump that I'm not fond of. Oh, we already have two Jake swords. Two Eggies, Goblin Whip. Oh, well, there's a few items I need to stockpile. The bread shot, the magic wand, a cursed sword. The requests later, but for now, that's all for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. Later.